we do specialize in optical work. So we do a lot of camera parts, uh, optical assembly stuff. I have no background in, in, in logic at all. I've programmed CNC machines and G-code for 10 years. Uh, it's just kind of X, Y, and Z positional sp spatial stuff. I had actually saw the UR at IMTS either four or six years ago. And I was like, that's, that's really neat. A robot you don't have to have all this extra stuff for, something simple. And just kind of followed it throughout the years and was like, okay, this is where we need to go. It's where I knew that's what I wanted to do anyway. I wanted to pick with vision, but before this, everybody was, everyone had told me that it was a very difficult process. You almost had to have a vision person in your shop to do it. Uh, this is super simple. Ten, 10 minutes and your part's taught. And then we're just gonna take and put maybe 15 or 17 parts just kind of strewn out where we think the field of view is. Uh, the camera will, or the robot's gonna rotate and look over the table, take one snapshot and see all the parts. Then for more accurate picking, it's gonna get closer and take another snapshot of one of those parts that it wants to pick. Uh, it'll reach down, pick it, rotate, and set it in the, in the automatic vise over here. And then it sends a signal to the, uh, to the Haas CNC machine. And essentially, it's pressing the cycle start button electronically, just like we would. We didn't have to even teach pick points because it already knew to look on this table for parts. Uh, so you don't need a conveyor. You don't need any type of special fixturing. You know, so when I change parts, I'll just tell it I'm looking for a different part. That's simple. There's not a lot of changeover, so that's why the camera. Anytime I wanted to change diameters of parts or change parts, we'd have to machine new grippers, and this you just tell it to close, and it goes from the maximum to, the, to whatever you're closing upon. But the robot doesn't improve cycle time. The robot improves overall part complete time, or project complete time, and that has improved, obviously. Said so we can probably do them in half the time, maybe a little better. It's just about, said once again, letting go and, and accepting the fact that, hey, it's gonna run for four extra hours and you're gonna go home and nothing's gonna break. No one's yelling at contractors for using an excavator rather than 100 men with shovels. You're not cutting jobs in the fact that it just changes where your work is. Instead of having guys or people sitting here just putting parts in and out of machines, you have, they can do more quality related stuff. They can check parts, they can clean, they can uh, package parts. With us bringing in the robot, I was able to move into that sales position. Along with learning how to program the robot, I believe it gives me a wider skill set overall. You just change in their job duties, not that they have a job. 